Lemur power engaged. All right, guys, so I lost a lot of the audio to some of the running on here, but you can see there I'm playing around with high gear. Once I make a few mods to this thing, so stick around to see just how capable it is with just a couple simple, simple mods. What's up, guys? Matt here coming at you with another quick video today. We're taking a quick look at this lemur, lemur, lemur. Um, I'm not going to spend a ton of time right here. I just kind of wanted to show you this thing and tell you that, like, I'm kind of reshooting this. I had started shooting a video on this thing, and I, my plans were I was going to just dog this thing, to be 100% honest, and you guys know I'm, I'm honest, all right? Because I think they really kind of botched this, and, you know, I'm still going to be honest about that. It just totally doesn't look right, in my opinion. These wheels and tires, I don't know why we, we keep getting 1.2s and 1.3s and all that. We have a bajillion 1.0 wheels and tires out there. Let's just stick with 1.0s, all right? Um, you know, even the super wheels and stuff, the, I absolutely hated running those things. So, like, I don't understand why we just keep going with stuff like this. And then these tires, they go absolutely nowhere. So, I don't understand the wheel and tire choice at all. It, that is what it is. Like, we're going to get an RTR and just chuck the wheels and tires usually anyways. But you do have Axial who just put the swampers on the new SCX24, I think that's a pretty good move. So uh, these stink, all right? The other thing is they should have worked with somebody who has a clue about modding, customizing, or even just running these things at all. Uh, and it don't have to be me. Like, I'm not saying, it, I mean, they could have sent a picture of this thing to anybody. Um, and the number one thing would have been it needs shock mount options. I mean, I just don't understand how this ever was released with no options at all, okay? Um, something like this, you know, it doesn't have very many options, but there are a few options there. I really wish this had more, like, up this way. But at least you have something you can kind of mount to and make your own if you want to um, make more mounts. This, we're very limited here because of just the cage, so this front one, you're definitely limited. The, the rear would be pretty easy to come up in here somewhere with another little bracket or something, but that should have definitely been changed. And then besides that, like, I don't mind the rest of it. The bumper, I don't know what they were thinking with that bumper. It's got to go. But besides that, I like the cage. I like what they were thinking and, and offering, really, because... This is sort of kind of like a Capra, you know, in a 24 scale. And I think as far as the cage itself, I really like the design, the look of it and what they did. They got the interior in here. We've got the light bar up top. I wish it was here. I'm probably going to move that at some point. But they fit the two-speed inside of here. I like where the on-off switch is. It's very easy to get to. The ESC is mounted up inside of here. And maybe you could say we should have had the battery there with a hinge or something, but I'm fine with the ESC there. Honestly, most of the time I run a smaller pack than what comes with these. Um, I don't like this at all. I don't mind the battery being back here because it's, it's not bad. It's fairly easy to get to. Normally I run a little smaller pack, so that weight up here, it is up high no matter what you do here but it's not a huge issue to me now you could take the interior out and probably fit this thing down in there somewhere sort of like i do with this i'll just put the battery in the side over here but i don't mind this this thing right here does not stay on very well so that's my main issue with it is maybe it should have just had some sort of little latch because it popped off a lot all right so this thing kind of out of the box struggles from like a little bit of an identity crisis like it doesn't crawl well at all because it just sits super high it has these large wheels and tires that bring it even higher and then these are not going to crawl at all and then if you try to do like uh, a bouncer or a rock racer with it the motor it has you know it has the two speed and you have the high gear which is faster but it's really not fast enough for what i'd call a bouncer or something so you're kind of either way you go with it it don't really fit but it does have good potential so 
I took mine here and changed it up. Now you can see I, I changed this because I'm not a huge fan of the lemur. And a little story about how I ended up with two green ones. All right, um, I'm a little. That's why I'm a little behind on this video actually because I was supposed to be getting one of these, and then the release came around. I hadn't got it, and videos were coming out. And so I panicked and ordered one because I thought, well, they're not sending one. And that's that's fine. Like, I, I don't expect it. But when I had been notified and asked if I wanted to check it out, I was kind of expecting it. So I just went and ordered one because I was like, I want to check it out, review it. And then I was getting one. It just was running late. And so it is what it is. I got them both. But it, it works out. Uh, I wish <laughs> my luck had been a little different and I'd ordered a different color. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to do away with these panels anyways. Um, but it, it allows me to kind of do what I'm doing here so I can compare these much easier. All right. So you can see I've modded, I mean, very simple mods to this, just changed the wheels and tires, took the springs off and I'll show you in a second what I did with these shocks. Uh, and it all just lowered it down quite a bit. So, um, as far as this goes, this is just a wrap and it's like a roll here. I'll link it in the description and it. You kind of cut a piece out, put it on there, and take the heat gun to it. That's all I did. And it seems like it's going to be okay. I don't know. We'll find out. But uh, it's very plain, but it does have kind of the carbon fiber look, so it's not terrible. I heated this side a little too much. You can probably see there. So don't get wild with your heat. That one looks a lot better. Still got to do the roof, but I'm going to move this bar probably at some point. But I wanted to show you guys these side by side so you can see this just being lowered this performs so much better and i've done like hardly anything like i said and it is way better at crawling now maybe you don't want to crawl with this but if you're going to bounce with it you're still probably not going to want these tires because they just they're really not good you're going to need some weight down low because trying to bounce stuff this is so tall and top heavy it just rolls constantly so you're probably going to want a lot of weight. There's different ways for different builds, right? <laughs> that you're going to go. But I wanted to crawl with it because I do like this cage. I love the look of it. I think they did pretty good with the cage, honestly. So it's just fitting the truck around it. I think it should have been stretched for sure. This is stretched just a couple millimeters. And it looks so much better, in my opinion. It just fits. So at some point, I'm going to stretch this. See, that that just looks better to me because it is a little longer. And I think that's just they're trying to fit too many things on the same wheelbase. You know, we got the same links that we've got with the Power Wagon and the K5 and all of that. And they're just trying to fit too much on the same exact. Just change the wheelbase a little bit. We'll be good. Uh, but the fact that the two-speed is in here makes this really fun. Uh, if you were just looking at this, you wouldn't guess it had a two-speed in it. If you didn't know this was what it is. You would never, or I wouldn't, I would never think like they crammed a two-speed in there and everything. So very good job there from FMS. And so many people have like really hated on this and talked about how bad it is. I thought like, I'm going to do better. Like I'm going to make it actually work a little bit. So that's what I did with this. Very minor mods. Let's check them out. And then I'll show you a little bit of running in stock form. And then this one running uh, before I did this, the panels, but uh, with the mods. So real quick before we run, I just want to show you this it does come with the V3 transmitter. Uh, you have your channel three here, which is your low speed, neutral, and then high. These do have the same electronics as the FCX, which have a really good slow crawl, very good electronics, solid servo. It's not amazing. This has the servo saver on it, so it, it works, but at some point it's probably going to die uh, so that's something i would suggest changing out at some point i'm not real sure these shocks are what i want them yet but we'll get to that this doesn't have the dip switches um but to program it out of the box you will be in a forward brake reverse mode so you'll have brake then reverse so forward brake then reverse so to change that this is how you'll be stock right to change that you're going to double tap your rev this will start flashing hit that bind button 
There you go. Forward straight to reverse. So that's definitely needed for crawling. I mean, I use it pretty much for any of these. I don't use a brake on any of these small crawlers. So um, that's something you definitely want to change out of the box. And then there's other programming options that are just a pain with this transmitter. I really wish we could just get the dip switches back. I don't understand why we get this, but whatever. Uh, it does have the nice foam wheel and it works. I love these for one hand driving and taking them with me on the go, throw them in a bag, very simple. I usually put a zip tie right here and I can put a lanyard on it, whatever. All right, so it's insanely windy out here today. I do have a dead cat on. Not sure if it's gonna help a whole lot. I'm trying to uh, run a mic so I can kind of talk while I'm running this thing. One thing that um, we do get in this is just the good electronics. It does have a good slow crawl. You can see these tires, they just bobble and bounce and don't grip at all. Um, this is a very easy line right here. And I'm struggling to get up it. I think it will do it. Just got to get it where it don't have to rely on traction because... We're not going to get traction with these tires. Very top heavy because it's just sitting sky high right now. There comes the wind picking up again. I'm sorry. Ah. There we go. So we do have, you know, a, a solid base truck underneath. We've got these FCX axles. They're really good. I still have not broke a CVD on one of these. They're, they have been tough. We've got the good slow crawl with the two speed. It's a good truck underneath. I'm not trying to just dog this truck. I just don't understand some of the uh, decisions made on it. But I don't think we're going to go any higher straight up on this mountain maybe we can come in at some sort of side hill see if i can come at this a little bit sideways and get up it i really don't see this going to the top this tires really just grip nothing Don't lose it, don't lose it. Ah, it's a little weight, a little weight there. We probably can get up this. Lowering it a bit. We've got tons of clearance. One thing about these big tires and portal axles, it just kind of went over that high spot there. over this way any almost had a little bounce there I don't know where to go I don't think it's gonna do any of this honestly maybe right there come on yeah Oh, what? <laughs> All but had it. And then lost traction at the top. Good grief. So obviously, these tires are not meant for crawling. I lose my patience after a while. I can't do that. It's just on something that's so easy. So I get this out here and I really actually like the look of it. I mean, as far as, like I said, the cage goes, 
I do like the cage. I think they did well with it. It's just the way they built the truck around it, honestly. Um, I don't think I've got any chance at getting up this, but it did start up it better than I thought it would originally right here. But yeah, it's just not gonna make that. So um, I'm very limited on my course of what this thing can do. Like, you know, a lot of times this course looks very easy because some of my built rigs really just make it look easy. But then when I run these stock trucks on it, you can tell like some of it's not so simple. I mean, <laughs> that was just bad driving right there. But I don't think we have a chance at any of this over here, but we gotta give it a shot anyways. Yeah, it's not even gonna start on any of this. It's still so tipsy, even in high gear, like where you could have some fun and maybe spin up something. It sits so high, it's just gonna do that every time. Uh, so this is what I'm kind of talking about, even in high gear, like this is something I would consider, uh, you know, a hill that I would bounce up or something. And I mean, it makes it, but it's its not like it's really fast enough to launch up it and jump it or anything, so. And then it likes to flip a lot. So we definitely just need to do some work to this thing. All right, look, a couple things I'm gonna try on the fly here. I mean, this is just out of the blue. I wasn't planning on modding this thing today. I have other things on my agenda, but uh, I can't leave it like it is. <laughs> so it's just sitting too high. I wanted to play around with switching the wheels and tires just so you guys could see what it could do with some better tires. Basically, these are just some that I had sitting, wasn't mounted on anything. So I was going to put them on here. I thought while I'm doing it, I'll remove the springs from the shocks to hopefully lower it. But then I, I checked the shock. They have like a little drop of oil in them. So I actually went ahead and filled them up with this. It's March 20 weight, but it's actually kind of a mix. It's maybe 12. <laughs> I don't know. But um, just to kind of get it down a little bit, I put a couple of these tiny little springs right here. These are like some AliExpress springs. We've I've used them inside of shocks and stuff before. I actually put those on the bottom shaft right there just to kind of give some sort of dampening there. Uh, the oil itself was kind of doing it, but I thought that would maybe help. And it's lowering it a little bit. I'm not sure it's going to be anywhere near where I really want it overall. And then I do plan to sort of stretch this at some point if I'm going to run it much at all because it just needs to be stretched a little. I'm thinking in the rear... Even if I do something like this, I mean, the McHugh links would work good. The RC uh, all-wheel drive ones, I have a set of those here, and they're just too long. It's going to put the axle, like, way back here. It's not going to look right. I was thinking about maybe even something like I did with this one a long time ago with the MoFo SCX24 links. I made those work, and I think that would be about the right length as well, and I really like these links. And then they have uh, some really good shock mounting options right here as well. So maybe something I do later on, I'll have to change the top link as well, which means I'm probably going to have to drop the skid to get to that screw in there. And uh, I'm just not doing all that today. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing with this shock here real quick. So just taking that spring off. And you'll see like that shock 
barely rebounds a little bit. These just have enough in there to sort of wet them a little bit. So I'm just adding like, ooh, I shake like crazy. Three and a half maybe drops there. You don't want it too full or it won't compress. If you push on it and it won't go in, you've got a little too much oil in there, so, or some air. I don't know if these are um, actually gonna hold or if they're gonna leak out or what, but you can see there, getting pretty much full travel. That's kind of springing back on its own. That's why I could probably just run without the spring on the bottom, but I figured it didn't hurt. These are very light gauge spring so they really don't do much it was pretty good a little bit stiff maybe i'm sure this is gonna leak oil over time so not really worried about it just kind of a quick patch to see if this thing's any better. I wanted to show you guys, this one is setting, I just raised that a hair. It's setting right around 50 or 51 to the front bumper there. And then this one is really about 56. So just doing that, I mean, it doesn't really look like a lot, but just changing those springs there, you know, you're gonna lose four or five millimeter uh, which is going to lower this thing four or five millimeters. That's a lot when you figure the scale of these things and just the added weight of this up high. Now, when we switch these out to our smaller tires, and these may be a little too small. Since I didn't lower this quite as much as I was planning on, they may not look great but they're closer to what I would probably normally run on this thing. I can get them all to stay on. We have lowered this quite a bit now. So now, we're at like 45. I just raised it. 45, 46, we'll say 46, and almost 56, so almost 10 millimeters we lowered this thing. In my opinion, this is just how it should have been sitting out of the box, and then a little bit longer. So let's get this stuff all bolted up because they won't stay on without bolts, right? Uh, and we'll go run this like it is, see if it does any better. I think you can tell from this angle a little bit better how much lower we are now. Just that a little bit, it's gonna make a huge difference on the course. So another thing I really like about this is sort of the way they boat sided these sides here. It does make for a little bit cleaner uh, edge when you are crawling up something like this right here. You know, you're not as likely to hang that we do have kind of these little tabs that hang down here uh, that could possibly snag or break. I'd almost take the Dremel and grind that down just a little bit, but they don't look super stout. So I'm not too sure about that, but um, I think this thing looks much better. Next, I'll have to address these panels. I'm gonna change those and probably stretch it a hair. I would be fine with not even stretching it now, I think that it's lowered, just if I can get different panels on it, I think it's gonna look okay. And I'm trying to keep this very simple because I, I like, like I said, what they were trying to do here, it just needs a little tuning, you know, but what RTR don't, honestly. So let's see what it'll do now that we have a little weight down low with these, these wheels and some better tires and sitting a little lower. I'm in high gear. That's how good the electronics are in this. Sometimes I don't even realize I'm in high. A lot easier than last time.
Look at that side hill there. Oh, I still lost it. That was really my fault. It's not the way you go through there. Can we go straight up this now? Oh my goodness. Look at the difference already. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Work with some of us. We sometimes know what we're doing. I don't always know everything, but if you want to make this crawl, I promise you I can make it better than it is out of the box. <laughs> I should have punched it. It'll do that. Uh, <laughs> come on! Lemur! Lemur power! <laughs> yeah! I knew I could do it. So look, we haven't added any brass or anything like that. You know, we haven't went crazy spending a fortune on it. Those little springs, it'd probably take you a month to get them ordering them from AliExpress, but they're like four or five bucks probably for the, a bag, I don't even know. And then everybody's gonna change wheels and tires, right? Look at that. I'm actually enjoying the lemur. Yeah. That was totally me. Getting in a hurry. Oh, I don't know about that one. We may need some brass in the rear to get that. We're just being stretched a little bit, probably. I mean, if I put that in high right there, I know I could do that, but let's try one more time in low. Uh, one more time. I lied. We need power. Ah, <laughs> come on, dude. You got this. time <laughs> not quite enough wheel speed there but the cool thing about these clicking in high you can still crawl good enough to get where you want to be see that and then i punch it and i'm good so the cool thing is like a buggy that looks like this i would never guess you had a two-speed crammed in there i mean obviously people are going to know now what it is but just looking at that, you wouldn't think there'd be a two-speed crammed inside that little buggy body. So I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I really like what they did. Hey, fluffers. Now look, you can't be fighting with the lemur. I don't know. They might be vicious. Probably not too vicious. They're almost extinct. So I think you've got this, fluffers. I'm going to try to come back up this because a while ago it wouldn't even start. This dude loves crawling. I'm telling you if he was a human, he would be my number one crawling buddy. No! It's unreal, it still won't even start up that. I think at this angle right here, if I punch it just right, yeah. Oh, oh, look at that, lemur power.
I don't know about that one. I don't think we're gonna have a chance at this one. This is where being stretched would make a huge difference right here. It's crazy what the FCX24 does when you stretch it. Yeah, and there's my other issue, see? I've had that happen a lot. So in the end, I think this thing can be decent with lowering it and stretching it still. And it still needs to be lowered more, I think. It, I'm probably just going to do shorter shocks because it still just sits kind of jacked up. Um, but I think stretching it out, it's going to really help it. And so in the end, I just, I'm just i not being as hard on this one because uh, you can see a little bit of work and it's crawling much better. So we can kind of adapt it and make it look how we want. And the overall like general cage, I mean, it's probably not exactly what I would have designed, but it's it's okay. Like I don't, I don't mind it. I mean, I actually find myself liking the looks of it on the rocks. So um, I'll probably play around with this, get a little lower. I was thrilled with that line right there though, coming up that and then this side hill. I mean, from where this thing started, that is a sick climb. Um, so, you know, I'm going to cut it short here just because a lot of the clips, I lost the audio and uh, it's kind of boring listening to me gab on. So um, I appreciate you guys sticking around. I'll link this thing and some of the stuff in the description. And I appreciate you guys hanging out, checking out the video and uh, more to come on this and lots of other stuff. I have so much stuff going on. I've got uh, some really cool mods I've done to the new Red Cat Ascent. So if anybody's been checking that thing out, um, I'm hoping to get out with it very, very soon since the mods are uh, pretty much done now. And I'm very excited to run it again. Really been loving the 10th scales and the 6th scales right now. So uh, limited time with the small crawlers, but um, we'll, get, we'll get back to it. So I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell. Peace. Oh, let me know what you think about this thing.